what's going on guys it's the gamer guy also known as harley and welcome back to another episode of uh, Mourinho's men with manchester united this is episode two and as i promised in the last episode we will be uh, we will be playing against psg in the american challenge cup final um but as you can see we have a red card um for ibrahimovic but that shouldn't worry too much i will because i will put um Excuse me, uh, I'll put a different player down. Um, probably put Rashford or something now, I'm not too sure. But we're going to get straight into this match today because we've got no chance for offers at the moment. So we shall be playing against PSG and I will be changing. I'm not going to put myself up there. Um, put Rashford on, I think, give him a chance. Um, but I'm going to leave this as a quite strong squad. In fact, I'm going to put Rooney up front. And then I'm going to have um, Schneidlin come in as well, but he can beat you further back. So it's looking like a strong squad. Um, we'll be looking at some young uh, midfielders. Um, I'm still decided between either T. Elements or Andre Gomez, but I'm looking at Andre Gomez more. So hopefully we can do well in the American Challenge Cup final. So here we go. Manchester United versus PSG. What a final this is going to be. That rhymed and I am very pleased with that. There is the cup. It looks a lot like the Champions League Cup, but we will come away from that. Um, we, As you can see, we won 5-0 and they won 4-3 on penalties against Juventus. So I'm kind of glad that they beat Juventus. I didn't want to play them again. But this is going to be a very, very exciting game today. And hopefully we can come away with our first trophy of the season. They are putting in Kevin Trapp, recently signed from Einter Frankfurt, I think his name, name is. And then we've got um, this guy here, Morgan Schneider, who's coming in for, um, I think it was Ibrahimovic, pretty much doing a swap, but I'm putting Rooney up front instead. And there's Kevin Trapp, and the ball is down, ready for today's match. Can we come away with a trophy? We shall have to wait and see. Jefferson Robertsford from the United States is our match official today. There's the PSG fans in the Central Link field. And here we go. This is going to be an exciting match with PSG playing from right to left in their usual blue kit. We are in the red, red top, white um, shorts and black socks playing from left to right. And hopefully we can come away with our first trophy of the season. It's looking good. Mkhitaryan's on the ball. Can he cross it into anyone? And Kevin Trapp just punches away the ball. We play it out to Damian, who plays it into the middle to Schweinsteiger. I'm going to have a shot, but nothing really comes of it. And then Verratti comes away with the ball, giving it to Thiago Motta. Back to Verratti, who plays it out to Eduard, I think his name is. And they can get a counter-attack going there now. This is already a fun game. But it looks like... Oh, it's a mistake. Luckily, we didn't give away a penalty and we can come away with the ball. Rooney out to Martial. We're going to wait for the run of Schweinsteiger. Schweinsteiger's getting the ball to Rooney. Then to Martial. Great play. Martial crosses it in. And nothing happens there. But Macho Damian, I'm going to cross it in early. What a cross to Rooney. And an easy save by Kevin. I think it's Kevin Trapp. But we are in a fun game already here, guys. And already gives it to Edouard, who just who just dummies, uh, I think it was Paul Pogba there. But then Matuidi is getting the ball. Go for the shot, but a great save by Mr. David De Gea. So it's Verratti now to take the corner. An outswing across. But David De Gea just picks up the ball easily. Plays it out to Rooney. Can we get a counter-attack going here? Plays it out to Mkhitaryan. Great, great pass. Back to Rooney. Nothing really can come away with that. Rooney going for the long shot, but no, oh, it's just another easy save by Trap. Swinesteiger into Schneidlin to Rooney. Who's. Oh, come on, that's got to be a free kick. That is a free kick. It's our first free kick of the series, guys, and can we actually score from this opportunity? So Rooney is over the ball. Is there anyone that's a little bit better? No, we're going to go for Rooney. It's going to go for the power shot. And it's into the bottom corner. 
What a goal for Wayne Rooney. A free kick goal. And now it's a celebration, I mean, Celebration, believe it or not. And what a start we have had. We are beating PSG 1-0. We seem to be beating some of the big teams by a, a good, good margin. Just gets around the wall. Very, very close. Look at that. So a great start then by Manchester United with the goal from Wayne Rooney as you could hear in about the 36th minute it was with a free kick but like kept it low which is perfect because the uh, players thought he was going to go for the just over the uh, over the wall but we come away with the first goal of the game and we are doing very very well and again we're on the counter attack and it's and it's 2-0 what a game we are having today two goals in the space of about five ten minutes against PSG and that's hard to do but look at this what a goal from Wayne Rooney that's seven I think in this um, tournament there you go, two goals in the space of six minutes against PSG. And that's his seventh goal of the tournament, I think. We should have a look in a bit. But Aurier has come away with the ball. He's, the, he's their right back. And we keep it in just. Plays it out to Eric Bertrand Bailey. Then to Anthony Martial. We can come away with the ball here. Schweinsteiger plays it to Paul Pogba. Plays a bit of a through ball. Oh, what a turn. And it's 3-0. Paul Pogba with his first goal at Manchester, back at Manchester United. And we are running riot now. It is now 3-0. What a Berber spin there from, uh, I think it was Mkhitaryan. Played into Paul Pogba. He slots it in with his left foot. Just beautiful. So there we are, guys. It is now half time. And what a game we are having. We are winning 3-0 against PSG. We are running riot, should we say. We can make a lot of changes. Bring in a couple of young youngsters, I think. Uh, let's have a look, see who we can bring in. We can bring in, like, um, Yanazai and uh, Depay. And we can even bring myself in if we need to. But I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're just going to change all the players here. So we have Ander Herrera. Um, then we're going to have Yanazai and Carrick and... Going to put myself on as well, I think. Um, going to have a new centre back, and then I'm going to put Romero in goal. Let's change the whole squad if we have to. But what a start! Three 0 in the first half against PSG. Couldn't ask for better for that. So here are all the changes. There's me, by the way, number 29. And I try making myself look like me, but it didn't really work. So I just thought I'd leave it. Doesn't really matter. But can we um, keep a clean sheet in the second half against, um, a, to be fair, a weak PSG side. Well, I wouldn't say weak. They haven't got all the strongest players in, unfortunately. But um, they are still a good side, even with some of their weakest players. And straight away, Memphis Depay comes away with the ball. Little Ronaldo chop. And I get in the way. <laughs> Oh. oh no way I was just so quiet thinking I was going to score at any second and we hit the post like three times or something and PSG are making three substitutions already and it's a bit weird normally they do it at half time or in like the 60th minute but they're already doing it now so that's fair enough and I hope they have their new players out ready to lose. Oh, terrible. This See, this one I don't really like. Bye. Augustin now into the box. Plays it to Thiago Motta, who scores, but it might just be nothing less than a consolation goal. But it was 
beautifully, beautifully worked. I did take my eye off the game for a second, I will be honest. But that's still no excuse. Just smacks it into the roof of the net, right down the middle. And we've conceded our first goal in the series in a proper game. Hopefully the whistle will go now. But I'm playing a long ball out to Adnan Yanazai, who controls it not very well. Come on, ref, blow the whistle. No. Oh, it was offside, I think. That's fine. Come on, ref, blow the whistle. Just going to have to smack it downfield. Oh, what a save. I didn't even expect that pass. I was expecting the whistle to go, but next thing I know, I'm on the ball. But what a save that was. And just going to play it into the box, see what happens. So Eric Birch and Bailey wasn't anything special. And there goes the full-time whistle. We have just won the American Challenge Cup. I am so proud of this team. What a team we have so far. And I couldn't ask for anything better. And there I am. Didn't really do anything in today's game. But we are going to get the cup. There it is in all its glory. The team has worked so well. Take a mental picture of that. Come on, guys. We have just won our first trophy of the series. And hopefully there's many more trophies to come. So what a start to the series we've had. We have come away with um, 3.6 million more as well. That will go towards some more players. Zlatan Ibrahimovic complete, has completed his suspension now. So that will be good for the start of the proper season. We have a couple of transfer offers here. We've got um, Timothy Fosu Mensa. Like I said, I think at the start of the series, I didn't want to sell him. He's a good backup. But we do want to sell um, Mr. Fellaini, who and Everton are putting a bid for him. So that's all right. But if I remember rightly, we, of course, have a transfer offer. We've got to try and complete a transfer offer for Valencia. And, yep, they don't want him, the player. I don't blame him. So I'm going to offer 20 million this time. Um, I think they said 27 million in the previous episode. So that was yesterday for me and yesterday for you guys. So just have a look back at that episode. It'll be down in, on the playlist, I think, or if I put it in the playlist. But there we go, 7 million for Marouane Fellaini. He's going back to Everton. That is fine by me. Never really enjoyed him in the team. I didn't really see him as a Man United player at all. But Valencia have accepted the 20 million offer for Andre Gomez. He wants £80,000. We are going to offer him that. But we are only going to give him an important first team player because he will be a backup. But that could be a good signing for us. And Antonio Valencia could... I'm going to accept that offer. We don't really need him in the squad. Um, he's not a good enough player for Man United, unfortunately. And plus, he's getting to that age now where he's going to start decreasing. And by the time you know it, he's in his 60s. In his 60 overall. But. Wow, okay. So we just got a, an email back saying talks between Marion Flaney and Everton have broken down because he expressed there's a great desire not to join this club. Wow, okay. So I think what I'm going to do then is I'm going to either get I think I'm going to buy T elements as well. He could be another backup backup strike um, centre mid. Um, he's just such a great young player in the um, high 70s I think it was. I think he's like 77 rated. I think his overall potential is in his high 80s. I think maybe even reaching the um, the 90s as well. Um, but we are going to see if they do a straight swap for um, Marouane Fellaini. And if not, we'll probably add a few million onto it as well. But we'll see what happens. A Belgian for a Belgian, why not? And we'll see what happens. So there we go. Antonio Valencia is now a Southampton player. He's gone to Southampton for 1.9 million. We've been given 1.6 million back, but that's fine. And Andre Gomez has accepted his contract offer what a signing this is he's not very high rated at the moment but with some um, 
But with some training, I'm sure he'll be a good player in the future. Let's have a look at his rating, I think. Um, yeah, he's an 80 rated. Um, he can play centre mid, centre attacking mid, and also left mid. So that'd be good. I might even, I might even put him into the first team squad actually, instead of Martial because if he can play left mid, why not? So we're going to take out Adnan. Yeah, we're going to put Adnan on his own. But then straight away we're going to have Andre Gomez. We're going to um, put in some training drills. I think soon um, bef after the first game of the season. But that's our squad. It's looking pretty, pretty good. Um, not too sure who I'll, who I'll need now. I don't know if I should get some young players in um, ready for the future or leave it as it is. Because um, this might only be like, a couple of seasons long. So there's not really much point in having a lot of buying in a lot of players. But then at the same time, once this series is over, I'll probably just carry on playing on anyway. So let's have a look. We could get another centre mid instead of Schweinsteiger. So that's something we might look at as well. And we've got this Rakitic. He might be a good centre mid to put in for the squad. Marco Verratti, he's he's looking like a good option as well. Busquets, not really that bothered. Christian Eriksen, not too fussed. I think I might leave the transfers now, actually. Um make no more transfers unless we really really need to uh, but we're going to have a look at some youth players now so we're going to put in Joe Murphy uh, he's quite high rated and I think we're going to just have one scout and we're going to just set him up in um, let's have him in England I think it'll be nice to have bring in some fresh English talent to the game which we don't really see a lot of anymore but there we go and I don't know if there's any more uh, transfer offers oh they've okay so they've accepted that transfer offer I was just about to cut to the next part of the episode but next thing I know they've accepted that transfer offer um, okay so he wants 45,000 I'm gonna offer 30 I think see how have a look at that. Put him down as a squad rotation player. Um, but I'm very, very surprised that he's accepted. So we'll see what happens and I'll see you when he's accepted that offer, hopefully. So before he comes to accept that offer, we've got a transfer offer for Daily Blind. And I'm looking at probably sending him. I don't know. Um, if they can give me about 13.3 million for him, I might let him go. Um, somewhere around that. If they come back to say, oh no, like 12, 12 to 11 million, then I might. But I'm just still waiting to hear back for uh, Mr. T. Elements, so we'll see what happens. Yuri Tillemans has accepted his contract offer. I am so happy about that. A straight swap, simple as that, for Marion Fellaini. If anything, we're getting the better deal out of it. We don't have to pay him as much as expected. But he will be a good replacement I think for Schweinsteiger in the near future saying that though Schweinsteiger has actually increased in overall which is pretty mental but we're going to have a look at his um, we're going to have a look at T Elements stats now pretty well rounded um, his editing accuracy could be a bit better but look at that 5 star weak foot he's only 18 he's a long passer as well which is good he could he might even play a bit more than expected as well but we're going to have a look at what kit numbers they've all been given now. Uh, Andre Gomez has been given the number 19, but we can't actually accept the number 19 because I've made a mistake. Uh, Marcus Rashford is now officially number 19, but Gomez has been given the number 25, which I'm happy about. That seems about right. Um, not really a first team number, but that's fine. Um, given number 15, uh, so that's not too bad. And then. T elements will give him the number 20. Um, not bothered about Sergio Romero because he's not really going to play. So T elements has now got the number 20. And yeah. And I think that might be the end of everything we need to do. Um, still waiting to hear back from Daily Blind as well. Hopefully that will come up in a few minutes. So they've come back with um, a counter offer of 11.5. And you know what? I think I might accept that. 
and then bring in another young centre back as well. Um, not really, wasn't really looking at Daily Blind as a first team player either, so that's fine. So Daily Blind has gone to Sunderland now for 11.5 million. We get 10 million of that, so that's not too bad. Um, and I think that's it. Um, Anthony Marshall wants to play the first game of the season. That's fair enough. Um, I might do that. But that will be the end of today's episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. In the next episode, we will be playing against Spurs and then possibly Hull City as well. Um, them two episode, them two games in that episode. Um, it's it's going to be a bit of a drag out, I think, through the transfer window. But then once, then as soon as we get into September, then it will be games galore. I can guarantee it. It'll be like three to four games an episode. Um, that should be fun so thank you very much guys for watching if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up also subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and comment down below if there's any players you want me to buy in within this transfer window or the next transfer window and also share with your friends as well as this is a brand new channel thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next episode see ya